Meet Sonny Pike, the child superstar dubbed the next Maradona, who had his legs insured for a million pound. At the age of 13, he was playing alongside Schneider, Van der Vaart and De Jong at Dutch Giants Ajax. But by 17, it had all become a little bit too much. In the mid-90s, Sonny was shuttled between agents, sponsorship deals and TV appearances. This was while having trials at Premier League clubs and others around the globe. My head was finished. I was gone. He was one of the most talked about child prodigies in English football. Whilst playing for his youth side in Essex, Pike says he scored 150 goals a season, 300 if you count the other competitions he played in. He's the nephew of former Spurs striker Mark Falco and has been compared by some to be the next George Best or Diego Maradona. At 12, he was representing East Anglia in a mini World Cup tournament in Denmark, playing alongside David Bentley and Ashley Young. How many scouts did you have today? He and Bentley would ask each other after games. A year later, he was playing for Ajax, who wanted him to move to Amsterdam and join them full time. An option that was not taken, but was described as one of the more enjoyable experiences. I went out for a while and played a few games, including the win against PSV. They wanted me to go back for good, but I was 13 and wasn't interested in doing that. I met the first team, Canoe, Cliver, Louis van Gaal was in charge at the time, and he was kind to me too. Pike's father encouraged the situation. Sonny said of him being hungry for the public attention and got carried away by the publicity. He did pieces and would earn money on the side out of all the attention. This didn't help Sonny's situation. His dad was all about football and lived his own life through his son. His mother, on the other hand, wanted normality, which led to clashes and an eventual divorce, Sonny aged 14. At that age, he was living like a footballer, sponsored by several brands such as Paul Smith and Mazzino. He appeared in several adverts, including McDonald's and Coca-Cola. Not bad for a 14 year old, would you say? Instead of moving to Ajax, Pike stayed local and signed to Leighton Orient. A more grounded choice, but was destroyed by his appearance in the 1996 documentary, Coaching and Poaching. I was signed at Orient, but my dad was working with a certain journalist at the time and agreed to do the documentary. The documentary all but ended his career, aged only 18. Chelsea were interested in signing him, which was the focal point of the documentary appearance, but they turned their back following the release of the show. Pike described this as the beginning of the end. The FA also banned Pike from football for 12 months, something Pike describes as a kick in the shins to say the least. He had trials at Grimsby and Stevenage, but the damage was done. He wanted to be unrecognisable. I didn't want to be seen as I was and didn't want anyone to recognise me. I just wanted to be another geezer, treated the same as anyone. The trial at Grimsby lasted two days before Pike got in his car and drove home. Sonny never made the pros. By 36, he was a London taxi driver. Now he coaches football for young children and he's back in a good place with himself and with football. He works as a one-on-one -on -one coach and mentor for some of the next generation, saying, suddenly, I might try to do what I needed to do then. Pike's story leaves questions to be asked. Is enough done for young players in football? They're told the next best thing, but most of them won't make it, bro. Sonny didn't have that support as a teenager. So we wanna know, what should the FA do to help young players in today's game? Let us know in the comments below.